My game guard brothers and sisters today we're going to try out a game that um, I believe was released before in Japanese and now was released in English it's called mad father um, it's it's a definitely a 2d kind of looks like Pokemon style kind of walking around kind of game but it's uh, definitely supposed to be a horror kind of type of game as well um, but I think instead of explaining it to you, we should just play it. Um, I really want to try this out. I was going to play the Japanese version, but I realized that the viewers won't actually understand what I'm doing. So, um, I'd have to explain everything. So it might be just easier for us to do the English version today. Alright, so let's start a new game. And sadly, my camera is showing a white rectangle. So I don't know how I look or what I'm looking at. So hopefully it looks fine. Okay, so a new game should be starting any moment now. I'm really enjoying the music of this. I, I don't know if you are, but... Um, that, I believe, is the main character. That is the daughter. I don't remember her name. I think it's Aya. Um, she has, obviously, a father and a mother. And I'm not going to give up the story, though, because I'm not sure if it's going to tell you exactly. But I did read up a little bit about the background, of course, of the game itself. Father... Should I do a little girl's voice like, Father? <laughs> Rather not. Okay, there we are. Oh, look how cute we are. Look at our little ribbon. I really love our ribbon in our hair. Father, are you in there? What is that? The toilet? <laughs> Father? Aya, how many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father. But, um, I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Aya. Don't worry, you're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. She's always watching over you, Aya. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was her. Okay, now please get to bed. Wow, I'm ruining all the nuances of this, uh, this story already. Yes, father. Good girl. You didn't get very far. Father, tomorrow's... Yes. The anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. <laughs> I gotta do like a Japanese kind of laugh there too. Uh, now back to bed, please. I'll be resting too, shortly. Huh. Resting from what, sir? He's obviously some sort of a uh, scientist or something. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, so I think this is where we start. Maybe. S stop! No! Wah! Not very dramatic, huh? Help me! Help! The, the problem is I can't yell really loud because uh, my neighbors will kill me. Well, he just did it for me. So, for whatever reason, she's understanding what's going on. So I don't think it was her father screaming right now. Because if it was, she probably would have been a little bit more upset. I know father's secret. My father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human screams. <laughs> Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance the whole time. Because I loved my father. That's not the only secret I know. When mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... Uh-oh... What was he doing with the helper? Well, that looks like the helper, huh? A fine sample. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. She's creepy. I do not like her. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor. Uh-oh. What you gonna do? 
<gasps> Doctor! The mistress is aware of our relationship. Uh-oh. Huh, what does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be 11 soon. It's a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Ensure that she never comes to harm. She is my most precious. My precious. Okay. What time is it? One o'clock, I guess, because it only rang once. Uh-oh. Two o'clock. It's midnight. Today's the day mom went to heaven. Look at a rabbit. It's cute. Mom. Now that I'm thinking about mom, I can't go to sleep. Okay, so this is the nursery second floor. And we're 11 years old, apparently. Your favorite doll. Yes, it is my favorite doll. A doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. The clock only struck like four times. If it was midnight, it would have been 12. Okay, we're looking in the past now. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll. <laughs> Thank you, father. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. It's the, the, the helper, I think. What a pretty doll. Oh, no, that's her doll. Wait a minute. That looks just like the helper. It's almost like it's real. Hmm. Interesting. Is the doll, in fact, real? Uh-oh. Are we, are we supposed to do something now? Because it's finally not... Oh! Your favorite doll. Okay. Ah. Uh, I think it's time for me to move around. Okay, I was using the WAS keys. I should use the arrow keys. Well, we are walking a lot faster than earlier. We were just kind of like tip-tapping around there. Alright, so we're finally moving around. That's our favorite doll. That's a plain dresser. <laughs> Horace, the trader. Ah, that's a book, right? Snowball, the pet rabbit, who is apparently asleep. I thought they were nocturnal. I guess they're not. Oh, and we just kind of walk on these? That's, that's normal, right? Can we look out the window? Nope, not that. The full moon is pretty, just like on the day mom died. What a morbid tale so far. <laughs> Cute girl, though. A portrait of mom. Okay, we can't really see her very well. Mom? Oh my, why was he cheating with the help? Look at her. <laughs> She's beautiful. What should I do, Mom? They have the same eyes. Look at that. I do love Father, but she scares me. Ah, she's talking about the woman. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her, but I know Father likes her. If Father and, and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Mom, why did you have to go? Okay, that's sad. She misses her mother and her father is a cheating, two-timing piece of shit. Um, can we get out of the room? Father will be mad if I go out again. Okay, so we're eternally supposed to stay in our room, I suppose. I don't think I can fall asleep. The desk, perhaps? Can you sit down? What? What can we do then? We're not allowed to go outside. Huh. Your favorite doll. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Let's just walk on these leaves a bunch of times. What? Is there something we're supposed to do? Maybe we can get that letter? The red-eyed stranger. Oh. Something fell out. Oh. What is it? How do we look at it? There we go. 
No? We just stand on it? What's this? Ooh, I got a gem. A Jimmy gem. Can I evolve a Pokemon with that? Gems are hidden in various places. Some require doing special events to get. You can see your gem count in the menu. Find them all and... So, how do we get to this menu? Okay, what happened? The room feels cold all of a sudden. Uh-oh, when it gets cold, that means there's some kind of ghosty ghost floating around. I'm kind of scared. I should get back to bed. Okay, you were saying that you weren't going to bed. All right, let's go to sleep. Perhaps. Good night. Ah, <sighs> what a poor girl. She's got a crazy father who's cheating on her dead wife. Wait, cheating on her dead mother, sorry. The girl's dead mother. <sighs> Ooh, flashback. Oh, this is sad. You sing so well, Aya. Can I turn around now, father? Just a moment. Just put this here. Oh. Yes, it's finished. What did he make? A wreath? Aw, it's cute. A flower crown. Does it look good on me? Of course it does. You're so cute. Everything will look good on you. Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't always play with you. Father. It's alright. She's such a good girl. Aya, you're a good girl. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. She's a very understanding and very <laughs> sympathetic girl as well. Oh, there's our mother. Look how beautiful she is compared to that other crappy woman. Oh my, you two were playing? Mom! Mama! Look, father made me a flower crown. That's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. So you played with him all day? Yeah! Yeah! We should do this again, father. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. What was she doing? Cough, hack, uh-oh. <coughs> I guess she's fallen ill. Mom! I I'm sorry, just another fit. Hmm. <coughs> Don't push yourself if, if you're not feeling well. Come, get some medicine from Maria. <gasps> I think the helper was poisoning the mother. What do you think? That's what I'm guessing so far. It should help you get better. Should? No, I can get that myself. Mom, are you hurt? You're okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. Aya, uh, your smile keeps me going best of all. A smile can go a long way, folks, by the way. They say smiles are contagious. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom? Okay. So, again, I think she feels like Something is wrong, but she's just trying to not be negative, so just listening to her mother. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made sirloin steak tonight. That sounds good. Can I come over for dinner? Your favorite, Aya. A little girl that loves big steak. That's good. Hooray! I love mom's steaks. Right, father? Haha, <laughs> of course. Her steaks are the best in the world. We were so happy then. There was Maria too, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mom passed away from illness, and that, hap and that happiness we had then, well... Sad, sad, sad! <laughs> Uh-oh... That scream, father? Hmm, 
Something must have happened. I'll go check on father. Okay, so before we were too afraid to go out, but I guess it's safe to go outside now, so that's good. Out we go. I have a bad feeling. Uh-oh. So what could it be? What's this sound? Is it a voice? How is she not more scared? Holy crap, that scared me. Eek. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Konbanwa. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, no. No, don't. This way. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Who's that? Over here. Is there somebody there? Hmm. Tis a boy. Who are you? This way. Really? Who? Stay with me. Uh, I said this way. He looks fine. Yeah! Okay, I still think I would have preferred the boy, though, over these things. Yeah! <laughs> oh, crap. So we're gonna hide in our room, I suppose. Who's that? Why are there so many people suddenly? <laughs> Poor girl. Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Now, don't be so aggressive. I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? Call me Ogre. I hope to get to know you, young lady. Uh... But it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like creatures from a story. Why would monsters like that suddenly... Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. Uh-oh, past tests. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father's in danger? I have to save him. Good girl. Why is that? Toward his own ends, he has killed countless people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him. <laughs> we just ignore him and leave? I probably would have done the same. My, my. Perhaps she cannot yet understand their suffering. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, so we got creepy, creepy weirdos out here. Oh, they're gone. I have to go save father. Or... You could just talk to a crow. A crow? Hello, crow. Oh, it's a saving crow. Perfect. East Hall. Okay. And... Boom. Alright, now, I'm going to leave this first episode as a little bit of a cliffhanger because we've only gotten the information so far and we haven't actually done much in the game. Um, of course I'm going to continue this game. I think it's so cool. I love these types of games and I think I will try to do more of these on the channel, especially if you guys like them. So, um, this game, I don't know how long it is, but it seems like a lot of what we have to do then is avoid these goons, not goons, ghouls and, uh, you know, kind of tortured souls and I think that boy might be friendly even though he seems a little bit scary to us uh, hopefully he becomes a friend but I do feel suspicious that the mother was killed by the helper what do you guys think well you can let me know in the comment section what you think don't leave any spoilers if you played the game but do let me know your opinions also if you like this episode please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, yeah we're going to continue this game and um, we're going to do you know we're not going to do super long episodes I was thinking to do really long ones but um, for now, I think it's better to just chop it up into little pieces. Uh, not like the father of Aya, who's probably chopping up his test subjects. But we are going to do this piece by piece. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please, be careful what might be lurking around. There could be somebody there. Um, no, probably not. Maybe a salesman in your bedroom. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. This has been GameGar, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!